Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video. This is another layout that I did for the National Scrapbooking Weekend Challenge Spring into Summer. And it's another ice cream layout. These two photos were taken during our very brief stop in Stockholm last, week, uh, last summer. We were on our way uh, visiting my mother, who lives an awful lot of miles south from where we live, and we uh, made a stop in Stockholm. We went to the Museum of Natural History and uh, uh, viewed their uh, dinosaur exhibition and the uh, mineral uh, collection. And uh, then uh, we had a plan that we were going uh, into the center of the town and have ice cream and my hubby wanted to visit the bookstore uh, in Old Town, uh, the science fiction uh, bookshop. And uh, we did just that. We even um, combined the two. <laughs> so while Hubby were, he was running to the bookstore and getting all the books he, he wanted to buy, the kids and I went and had ice cream at a small uh, cafe in Old Town. So this is a shot of uh, one of those very, very narrow streets in Stockholm Old Town and the three cups of ice cream that we bought. And uh, I must say I ended up eating most of those cups. <laughs> Not because I'm, uh, yes, because I am very fond of ice cream and my kids, uh, they didn't like the flavors that they had chosen. But ah, anyway, uh, it was fun. <laughs> or was it? <laughs> anyway, I'm working with the I am collection from Simple Stories today. I found it when I was going through my summer papers and there it was with stickers and 6x6 uh, um, uh, six six paper pad and everything and uh, I kind of um, re... Um, what, what do you call when you when you uh, discover something a last time? I rediscovered uh, this collection and I totally wanted to use it because it went so well with the colors of the ice cream and uh, also with the, the sliver of sky that you can see there between the houses. Really pretty. I'm working on this uh, yellow uh, paper as a base. It's it's not totally solid. It, it has this kind of uh, distressed or uh, almost like, mm, yeah, not watercolory, but it, it has shades anyway. Uh, it looks very nice. It's got a very nice, uh, like, um, not the texture, but but the depth into the, the the color, and then I'm going to cut up lots of those uh, six by six papers that were cut parts, and I love those. Uh, that uh, paper uh, also, the background paper is also from Simple Stories. I don't think it's the same collection, but uh, they tend to to match really well with each other. I'm on my second day of scrapbooking. Uh, wake vacation and uh, tomorrow I'm going back to work and then we have a three-day uh, vacation or a holiday uh, or what it's called weekend because it's Midsummer Eve our most favorite um, holiday in Sweden uh, when we celebrate the old pagan tradition of uh, growth and uh, and uh, yeah it's it's like a, a fertility um, like what do you call it holiday uh, when we celebrate uh, that uh, the summer is here and everything is beautiful and uh, warm and everything's growing so working one day will only be fun to see my co-workers again uh, i have made a layout this morning and i'm feeling really good about that one and i have planned one more and uh, i have been watching victoria marie on youtube and i'm feeling really really mm, in a good mood uh, victoria marie always uh, get me in in this very uh, like bubbly uh, uh, kind of mood and i love that and i've seen her uh, make beautiful layouts and i'm almost feeling that i would want to go in the direction with more empty space on my p pages and more her you know that the light and airy kind of, of style that she's doing and, and I'm feeling a lot of different uh, inspirations <laughs> coming coming to me and I, I love that 
So during this day I'm planning to do a uh, more traditional scrapbooking. I don't think that I will do a lot of mixed media. Uh, that's not my plan. I, I'd like to just dig into some of my older uh, photos and uh, use up a bunch of uh, products that I have um, laying around and uh, before I really dig into the new stuff that I have bought. And uh, I have also ordered new photos from the photo company and uh, paper copies and uh, I I ordered them just during the weekend so I, I didn't really expect them to, to uh, get here in time for my scrapbooking vacation but anyway I, I know that they they will come and uh, that will probably spark a lot of creativity and uh, I'm also planning to, to start using my new products then. I have still not gotten my uh, package from uh, uh, Sealy in Gothenburg and uh, I'm, I guess that's because they're wait, still waiting for my albums. I, I asked them to, to hold my package until the, uh, the albums has, have arrived so that I don't uh, have to pay uh, double um, shipping. Because shipping, even uh, inside Sweden, it's um, r rather big. I, I'd, uh, I'd much rather uh, buy more paper than uh, pay for, for extra shipping. Now when I have a package arriving. Uh, some small uh, words about the layout then. I have cut apart all these cute 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 little labels and uh, squares there with the different symbols from the line and I'm using a full uh, six by two I think strip with a clothesline with pretty stuff hanging from it and a bird on top of the line and uh, I have uh, cut out um, strips of that white and yellow striped paper that I'm using for the photo mat and those will be the foundations for my uh, two diagonally placed uh, clusters and then I'm just going crazy with all these embellishments when I'm using cut cutouts like this from a 6x6 paper I'm not being frugal in any way like if I would have been if I had a die cut package these I can sprinkle all over the place <laughs> and uh, that's the the opportunity for me to go crazy with layering and detail and and that's fun for a change and uh, it's a style that that I uh, like to play with it's it doesn't come truly from my heart but I I, I do love it anyway <laughs> I, I think this is, is fun I have cut a white doily in half and I'm placing it on uh, or behind the photo block and, and this feels really strange to me now when I look at it because I'm placing it on the opposite diagonal as the rest of the layout and uh, I guess I did this because I had the space there but if I would have done it today I would probably have placed it on the diagonal uh, of the rest of the layout but uh, this is so typically typically my way of doing things so so I, I almost think it's it's a bit of personal charm or whatever you can call it uh, since most of the embellishments in the clusters th uh, that far in the process were uh, rectangular I like the idea to add uh, circles as part of the layering in the clusters. So I cut uh, two different sizes of uh, um, circles with paper punches and uh, place them uh, as layers in the um, clusters. Uh, I thought that was fun and it helped the bridge or helped to uh, establish the diagonal that red circle I think does lots to, to the overall impression of the page. It picks up on the pink or red, reddish pink and it, it creates a, a visual line for, for the eye to travel around the page. I love those little uh, squares, they're so cute. <laughs> I wish, I, I always wish that more brands used the opportunity to, to give out cutouts uh, that you could 
just sprinkle all over your product projects so that that's so mm, I think it's such a good idea and uh, I'm totally uh, able to to cut out my own <laughs> embellishments if they are square and rectangular even if they are circles really and uh, and that saves me a lot of money and uh, I think that the um, companies get a lot of goodwill <laughs> from 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 doing that and uh, I, I realize that's not for everyone. I don't. I think that a lot of people don't like to to do these kinds of cutouts. But but I I totally love them. Now I'm outlining the piece of the background that is not covered up with the uh, clusters. So I'm just skipping those pieces where I have uh, embellishments going all of. Um, all uh, to, towards the edge of the paper and then to thin pen lines I, I like that kind of border now I'm going to write uh, it's not like a title but, but it will serve as a title here I'm writing uh, uh, Stockholm or the uh, short abbreviation of Stockholm which I think is so cool I think it looks perfect everyone sees that it's <laughs> Stockholm and then I'm placing just an at sign so that it's it's um, totally uh, visible or uh, it's easy to see that uh, the it's in Stockholm it's not obvious when you just look at the photos and I, I love this I as you can see at the top there on the uh, top doily I placed the same kind of bird that's actually sitting on the clothesline clothesline and, and I thought that, I thought that was fun because they are facing in, in in different directions that's uh, totally totally fun I think I'm writing my journaling just telling what I told you that we were doing a quick stop uh, in Old Town just to grab some ice cream and uh, and uh, buy books and uh, we were having just these <laughs> ridiculous like uh, uh, country people in in big town you know when when you which which subway train are you going to go on and and then we were spending lots of time looking at the subway map and then we just uh, went uh, halfway and then we had forgotten what train to take next we were acting like stupid hens i, I <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, we were just laughing at at the whole situation. We were we were being just lost, even though we have been uh, <laughs> traveling this uh, town or city for so many times. We acted like total s strangers <laughs> in our own capital. I it was embarrassing, and uh, I I'm happy that that uh, I. Um, at, came back to the car <laughs> with my family <laughs> because uh, it could have gone either way <laughs> really it was just so so stupid we, we didn't think uh, a lot now i brought out my uh, million and gazillion of uh, enamel dots or plastic dots made from perler beads in different sizes and i'm going to just place them uh, to create some interest in my uh, clusters just a small extra detail and I love the fact that I I realized that I had to make different sizes of these to to get the impression that I was looking for and uh, now it feels so much better to use them and uh, I, I I use them more now when I'm uh, when I have them in different sizes and I think that my colors uh, are perfect for for this um, uh, simple stories uh, color uh, combination. It looks so fun. My glue dots, they are uh, bad. I must say they aren't really good. It's the dudes, dude dots, dots, dudes, dudes. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I don't like them uh, one bit. I was so uh, happy when my, my old package uh, was uh, gone because then I could start using the new one I thought and uh, be because the last uh, the, the, the previous package which was going a bit old and it was hard to peel away the, the uh, glue dots from the packing 
but uh, when I started using this uh, new version, <laughs> I'm longing back to my old one <laughs> because this is uh, it's very hard to work with, and those uh, millions of uh, of uh, backing plastics that I get stuck with, they are very irritating, and uh, I don't know. I will not buy this brand again. I'm just placing a couple of. Uh, nature colored uh, twine bows in my clusters and that will be the finished uh, page. Here are some uh, still photos of the page and some close-ups so that you can see the fun details. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. Take care. This is Ulfa. Bye!